Yeah. Usually, you have to walk away. that's what I did. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's, that's what I did. Uh, you know, most of my family's gone now. The only, the only, I've only got one. I got my sister. She passes on. That's it. Uh, I have one uncle and one more aunt. That's it. All, all the relatives have died off. But when, the, when we were, when I first got saved, Kathy and I visit the relatives and family reunions and stuff like that. It got to the point where, and they started in. See ya, bye. I'm leaving. I'm not going to put up with that. You know. You could, you could tell the minute we walked into the room, it was like, shh, quiet. <laughs> the righteous people are here, you know? <laughs> if they weren't sitting, they wouldn't have to have said, shh. <laughs> I know, you know? Yeah, shh, here comes the reverend. Yeah. Yeah, I used to say, don't call me reverend. I hate that term. Yeah. I hate it with a passion. Why? Huh? Because it's a, it's a, it's a name given to some. There's nothing reverend about me. You think of the word. What's the word reverend mean? It means holy. I mean, I'm nothing holy in me. I don't like that title. Call me pastor. Call me Dwayne. Call me Mr. Don't call me. So if, if, I call you reverend. Oh, I, 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 I correct people. Don't call me reverend. Don't call me reverend. Okay, so next time you get me mad, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I said, I said, the, I said, there's nothing reverend about me. Ask my wife. <laughs> and, and yet in business, if you don't call someone reverend that's reverend, yeah. very, very offensive. I, I know. I know. Uh, I just say call me pastor or you know something like that. Don't call me reverend. I don't like that title. Uh, a lot of people have that reverend. They take it to the far extreme. They think they're somebody when they're nobody. Let me give you an example. Oh, my goodness. Um, I had to go to, I had to make a hospital call before I went on vacation. Okay, you know at the hospital, Charlotte, there's, there's rev, no, there's two yeah, spots for clergy. Yes. Well, I parked in one. Okay? But I wasn't dressed like a clergy. I, I you know, uh, I had to see somebody, but I didn't have to dress up for it. So I was, so I was in a shirt and shorts. Oh well, this rev I could I could tell this car drives up and see saw that I, he saw me get out of the car. And so he was I was there, he is pulling around, he saw me get out, walks I walked by, he rolls down his window. Are you a clergy? As a matter of fact I am. I said, Yes I am. Well you're not dressed like one. <laughs> is that how you tell the difference? <laughs> Oh, well, he. Should we stop everybody parked in a handicap zone and say, Are you handicapped? <laughs> I tell you, you talk about the old man in me. Yeah. Oh, for about three seconds, I almost said something that wasn't going to be pleasant. Because he was judging me. Exactly. I, said, I said, Sir, I says, I am a pastor. I says, I'm not dressed like it. Well, you ought to dress like a pastor. And he goes, oh. he was mad because I took a spot because he yeah, thought I wasn't a clergy. That's what it was all about. I wanted to say, I want to say, well, who are you, you pious idiot? That's what I was going to say to him. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, oh, I say it. He was, he was. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was his attitude like, who does he think he is? Just because he's a reverend, that you don't have to act like that. Let me see. You're supposed to be sick. Something about judge not lest you be judged. Yeah. You know? I guess you'd have to read that part. You know, Man. Then he goes on and on, and I just walked away, you know? I, I, my, the meanness of me is when I say, you know, Lord, I think I'll just call somebody, leave my car there all day long. <laughs> <laughs> come back every day. I'll come back. Come back. Come back. <laughs> But see, uh, but anyway, I am glad that we have, see, there's no judgment anyway. Praise God we have no judgment. All right. Also, faith means our faith. We're talking about victory here in our, in our text in 1 John 5, verse 4. It means that God gives the believer victory over fear and despair and fills him with joy and love and peace. Amen. That's what I love about being a believer. No matter what the trial is, no matter how despair it might get, it gets, 
you can still have the love of God and the joy of God and the peace of God in you. Amen? See, that's something the world can't, can't have until they find Christ. Jesus said in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Isn't that a wonderful verse? Now what that verse says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world gives. What is he talking about, not as the world gives? What do you, th what do you think John has in mind there? Ah, we have eternal peace. If you don't have faith, you don't yeah. have peace. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See, peace to the world is if everything's going well. But once things aren't going so well, they don't have peace. They fret, they worry, they have anxiety, they go nuts. The one thing I learned in my Christian walk a long time ago. I settled a long time ago, Lord, no matter what happens in my life, nobody's going to take my peace and my joy from you. No person, no circumstance, nothing can take that away from me. Because who's in control? <laughs> it's not us. <laughs> you may, I tell Christians all the time, whatever trial, tribulation, whatever you're going through, you may as well just surrender it to the Lord because that's the only way you're going to get through it. Right. Amen? Amen? So you just may as well say, okay, Lord, as you're saying, you know, suck it up, muffin, <laughs> and wait on the Lord. That's all you can do. Because when He's done with you and me, then your trial will be over. You know what he's looking for most of the time in trials and tribulation when he said he's going to see how we're going to react to him. Obedience, yeah. yeah, obedience and faith and love and peace and joy. How are you going to react during this time? God wants to see your heart. Hey, do you trust me? Can you still love me? Can you still laugh, smile, have a good time, enjoy me while you're going through the trial and tribulation? Let's see if you can do it. <laughs> Listen, our faith, we have nothing, we have love and joy. I like this one. These things I spoke unto you that you might have peace. In the world, you shall have what? Tribulation. Christian, if you think you're going to go through this world without any tribulations, uh, sorry, this verse says it's going to happen. Jesus said, You shall, you will have tribulation. Mark it down, it's coming. You'll always have it. All right? But notice what he says. Yep. But he says, um, He said, I spoke to you that you may have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of what? Good cheer. Oh, that hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, come on, Lord. No, good cheer. Come on, good cheer, good cheer. Honestly, what do we do instead? Come on, let's be honest with us. We have self-pity parties. Oh, woe is me. Look what's happening to me. Oh, Lord, you just don't understand me. He says, yeah, I do. How about some good cheer here? But he promised us hope in the future. And we have to, we have to rely on that. I, we do, yeah. Yep, exactly. Uh, my famous ex saying is, Attitude determines your outlook. True. Listen, next time you go through a trial and tribulation, would you, hey, look, uh, think of Fanny Crosby. Would you like to be her? What about, what's her name? What was her name? She was Blind Death? Oh, Helen Keller. Helen, how'd you like to be a Helen Keller? See, you start thinking of that. You haven't got it so bad. We don't have it so bad. Two doors down, uh, two, one, two streets down, I pass by, I wave to him every day. There's this gentleman, I think he must be in his 60s, in a wheelchair, all crippled up. Sad situation. But you know what? I challenge you, go by that street. He's got a smile on his face, and he waves to everybody. And I think, I don't have it so bad. 
Nope. I don't have